Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we're looking at a really cool tool room prototype Ross rifle. This dates from about 1908, or thereabouts, uh, when Charles Ross and his company were working on developing the Mark III Ross. The Mark II had some issues with a magazine. It had what was called a, a dump magazine, which didn't, use, didn't work with a stripper clip, this was a major uh, something the military wanted to change. So they started experimenting, and this is one of the things that they created in their search for a better solution. So the receiver on this is blank, although it is a model of 1905 or 1905 pattern gun. The only marking we have on it here is on the top of the receiver uh, at the front over the chamber, marked H5, and the same H5 marked on the bolt body. Now we have a variety of interesting features here. So we'll start with uh, the bolt-on stripper clip guide from the Ross uh, Mark II Star Star. Instead of either the Mark II or what would become the Mark III magazines, this has very much a Mauser pattern magazine. If we open that up, you can see a double stack follower in there. The M10 Ross, the Mark III, would eventually actually have a single stack five round magazine in it. This frankly probably would have been a better solution. The safety lever is a flag like the Mark II two star Ross. Um, however, this one is slightly different in design and it hasn't actually been marked with safe or, well, fire or, oh, was it ready or safe markings. The bolt stop appears to actually be taken straight off of a US Springfield or, or patterned on the Springfield. And the whole butt stock is patterned after the British uh, Lee style with this kind of distinctive uh, semi pistol grip to it, as well as having a brass butt plate and trap that appear to be directly off of a Lee rifle. The trigger guard is entirely different from any Ross pattern, uh, much larger has a, uh, a loop in it for a, a sling swivel. And then we have a long barrel, which is typical of Ross, but this is actually a smaller diameter uh, than, than the Mark II or Mark III. And lastly, we have a front sight protector that was is of a type that was actually used on some of the Ross rifles. This actually flips up, so you have a full hooded protector uh, if you want it. But if there's not enough light, This is really stiff. There we go. You can flip that forward. Now uh, it's cut out so that you can still see a clear sight picture, but your front sight is now unobstructed and in low light, uh, more easily visible. Ultimately, it doesn't appear that very many lessons from this particular rifle were taken uh, and used in the Mark III uh, 1910 Ross, because things like this Mauser pattern magazine probably, I think, would have been a really good idea, but weren't actually implemented. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I always enjoy looking at one-off uh, developmental prototypes, and uh, this is a very cool example of just that sort of thing. Thanks for watching.